Yo guys, welcome back to Team Assassin's Creed. This is your boy Assassin Dave, and welcome to another 100% Savage Guide for Lane. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on, and I'll see you guys in the video. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it with you, just the thrill of it. Just for the thrill of it, nothing kind of it. In order to truly become the savage lane, you have to understand a few things. Number one, farm. Your power spike really comes after you finish Scarlet Phantom and Berserker Fury. Once you have this two item finish, killing the squishy backline should be as easy as the Lymphinite combo. And for what Lymphinite combo is, make sure to check out our Lymphinite combo video for detailed guide. Number 2. Farm Before you hit the power spike, look for as much farm as you can on the map and reduce unnecessary death in order to farm more efficiently. Number 3. I would like to say farm, but in order to farm more efficiently, you gotta reserve energy. Remember if your energy bar is under 60%, you will not be able to do a full complete Lymphalin combo. This is why we prioritize Scarlet Phantom so early in the game, because of the attack speed will drastically increase your ability to maintain at a high energy level. Number 4. Join the fight. Know how to hide yourself in a team fight and look for flank onto enemy backline carries and try to gauge enemy key abilities that pose a threat to you, such as Chalice Ultimate, Kaja's Ultimate. These two characters usually give Ling the most problem, so you can leverage your teammates to bait out those skills before you dive in heroically. Alright, guys, here comes the explanation of Ling's emblem and build. When we talk about build, the first item as we discussed, you want to take Scarlet Phantom so to increase your efficiency on farming and also help you maintain your energy level on a healthy level. This way you can do your combo properly, you can rotate properly, you can dash through walls without dying. And then you wanna finish your level three general item. Now starting off the game, you can finish level two first before you finish Scarlet Phantom like I, like I do every game. This way you can farm jungle a lot better, you can get some HP back when you kill a minion. And then you finish your first item Scarlet Phantom and then finish a level three general item. And then after that you finish Berserker Fury. After this two items is finished, your power spike is online, right? You can literally Use your infinite combo and kill somebody at that point. Now, hopefully, you don't use that on the tank. On the tank, you're probably gonna do a decent amount of damage, but not that much. So, as squishy though, you're gonna kill them. Right? Next item coming up is Endless Battle, a core item on Ling. What can I say? Use a lot of skills, true damage. This item is just a core and core for Ling. An item after that I would build is Has Fall. This item allows Ling to generate really, really fast. Like when you're rotating around the, around the map, it allows you to never need to go pack or recall. As long as there's something to hit, you're gonna get your HP back like that, instantaneously. If you watch our gameplay, you will see, if you watch our streams, come to our daily live stream, you will see that, you know, when I play Ling, as long as I finish my Hatch Claw, I can do insane amount of damage. And last but not the least, you wanna finish Blade of Despair, right? Uh, sometimes if you realize you already do enough damage where this item don't really help, in the sense of, if you just finish has Claw and you're like, killing everybody like left and right up and down and like oh I don't need a blade of despair what's the point of building extra damage if I'm already killing them so then you can build winter, winter, winter truncheon and build immortality or build immortality first and then build winter truncheon later right in fact I recommend you you get this item to be immortality and then have all the last roll to be winter truncheon the reason why is you can switch this as an active pick and then sell this item real quick and then winter truncheon will show up when you have the money I mean, you can have another skill to dodge skills, and that's the build. And when we come to emblem for Ling, the one that I use is Assassin Emblem. Now, compared to the top global, mine's a little bit different. First, I like to get attack damage on the first roll, because CD reduction and the movement speed doesn't really help Ling that much. Just get extra 2%. Uh, no, right? If you get too much movement speed, if you get 3 points on here, extra 6% plus this 2%, 8%. Why does the Ling need so much movement speed? Because you're flying on the wall anyways, right, to begin with. Now come to the second roll, Invasion, right, a physical penetration, because this allows you to do a lot more damage. The crit chance is completely unnecessary. Just your first skill at the max level, plus Scarlet Venom, plus Berserker Fury, you're gonna have full, full, 100% crit chance. This is unnecessary, at least, to say the least. Don't build it. And then, Spell Wamp doesn't work on Ling, guys. Ling's all his ability is considered as physical attack. Even including the second ability when you dash off the wall. 
So with that being said, you want to use physical pen only, only, okay? The two other ones is simply, it's not worth it. Last but not least, uh, the only one that makes sense is Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter gives you a lot of gold because Lean, like I said, need farm. And if you find a kill because they're teammates, you have a really good tank that helps you get a kill here and there, this is great, right? Go ahead and take Bounty Hunter. The other ones, the high and dry, that helps you increase a little bit of damage. It really happens where you solo kill somebody and the killing spree, right? Where you get some HP back. I mean, it's fine, but well, after has Claw, you don't really need that because you're going to regen and stay at 100% HP anyways. So with that, guys, with that, with, with, so knowing that, why don't we quickly jump into a Mythical Glory rank gameplay and I will show you how I destroy with Link. All right, guys, welcome back to the Link 100% Savage Guide. Live demonstration, we'll be playing Ling with Grok in middle lane. Bottom lane, we have Kaja and Granger. This is already looking really good starting at the game. So, obviously, like I said, the principle of Ling is just farm. You gotta farm as much as you can, and when you just think you are done farming, no, farm some more, you know, like, because there's never enough farm, you know, just farm. Farm, my boy. So, he's gonna do some damage here, but I'm gonna ignore him because I'm gonna get this HP crab and uh, heal back up. Yeah, bottom lane, we have two people, the Fanny. And do what Fanny does, but they're gonna miss out on the mid lane farm, which I will go ahead and gladly take before I turn level four and then go bottom lane and whoop their ass. So I see Fanny come to our jungle here. Let's go ahead and do some poke, do some damage to this guy, and I need one more second ability before I can kill him. Ooh, the flicker comes in. The flicker comes in, and let's see. Let's wait to make sure we don't give him fan energy and do some damage here. You got one layer. But that's about fine. That's, that's fine. Uh, Chow was waiting in that bush to last hit that HP grab. That's unfortunate. Uh, okay, we'll give him that, right? Uh, there's a little small minion on the, on this side that we can take. Let's go ahead and take that. Yeah. Want, want everything we want. Want everything we can. Everything we see on the map is ours. Okay. You know, wish it, want it, take it. All right. Bottom lane. There's a go crab. Yeah. I see farm. All I see, everything I see is money. Okay, do some damage to this guy and you know, do some damage to this guy and and then totally kid Alright. That was uh, unfortunate. He got away, but let's go ahead and take this real fast and whew, there we go. Got a fanny who jumped in, find himself doing zero, zero damage. Let's go ahead and fly through this way because there's a small minion we can catch and do some damage to it. This birdie still catch still chasing me. Lolit Ruby is in a lot of trouble here. They actually want to chase this, so I can see a you know a free kill over here because this guy does not have a dash. Yeah, it's gonna be a quite a bit of gold because it's a hero kill. I have Bounty Hunter on my emblem, and Bounty Hunter on emblem is exactly why you take it because for a situation like this. Penny gonna go back to his own blue buff. I'm gonna go back to mine. Um, nothing serious. Let's go ahead and save some energy so we don't jump. Yeah, we don't, we don't use two rocks, we just dash once. All attack, all attack, all attack, all attack. Yeah, get our energy back. Nothing serious. Let's go back to top. Because, you know, I want to stay mid. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a mid moment uh, over here. Bruno has a tree though, so it's going to be an easy kill if I do go top. Well, unfortunately, at this point, I don't have enough farm for this stuff to happen. So what we'll do is just go ahead and take this. Take this. Take the H small camp. Yeah, take as much farm as you can, right? Yeah, what did I say, right? Farm. Farm. Poke a little bit more. Yeah, looking for me. Looking for me. He want to kick me towards the tower. Unfortunately for him, I just want to get this wave. Yeah. Okay, top lane is fighting now. I see, uh, um, I see the Bruno over here. Got it. My retreat at the right time uh, with Granger's damage. Ooh. This guy might be a little bit low. Let's find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and slow him down and totally kid top. Bye bye. Okay, get some HP back. Lolita still chasing here. Caught a nice ult. I'm gonna go ahead and dash back. Okay, another birdie coming in. Let's make sure this birdie. Ooh, almost hit the wrong person there. So I see Fanny. I see a go crap. Guess which one I want. I want both of them. Yeah, get this, get a gold crap, come bottom lane. They don't really have a traditional mid lane. They had a Fanny and then they had a Diggy, right? Diggy's their mid lane. In our case, we don't really have a traditional top lane. You know, Ruby is fine, I suppose, but it's not a traditional. All right, finish our Scarlet Phantom. 
We just had our first power spike of the game. We just Scarlet Phantom power spike. Um, this allows us to farm really fast, get our energy really fast. Um, Danny's thinking about going bottom. Some damage to him. Let's get it. There we go. Let's get it. Totally get it. Get some damage. Whoa. Get out. Whew. One HP. Oh, taking a little bit too much. Uh, luckily, I got away just in time. Go back to our own blue buff. Take our blue. Who knows coming? Next item is going to finish my level 3 jungle item, which allows me to farm a lot faster. Diggy is not letting this Kondra go home. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna. He's gonna not gonna let him happen. Yeah, he's still chasing. Yeah, Ruby is pushing top. I see a Brunel. I don't have ultimate. I'm gonna let him go for now. And when I finish this HP crab, you're dead. Let's see this Brunel. Comes over here. Oh, missed. Totally Kato! All right, got up. Oh, get out, Dave. Uh, it was a little bit dangerous, but you know, we got it. It's fine. Okay, bottom lane. Uh, Granger doing that buff. Uh, let's see if I can be of service in any way. I was making sure he doesn't do that buff, but I'm just gonna be standing on this wall right here. Mm. All right, do this HP. Do this cannon minion. Um, and let's get ready for turtle. I have my retreat now. Ready? Yeah. Sometimes you miss your combo, like you like you, you saw, right? Just now, I didn't really actually miss my combo on the Bruno. It just didn't do enough damage. This is what I mean by, like, you know, Ling, how you have to farm. But once you get your core items, uh, meaning you finish your Berserker Fury, you can, like I said, you know, finish anyone in two shots. So this, at this point, I'm not having that just yet. So I'm going to be sending a wall that's kind of far away. I'm waiting for the right opportunity, and... Let's get it! Let's get it! There we go. Uh, should I kill Diggy or should I kill Bruno? Right? Bruno it is. There we go. Looking for that Bruno. Alright. Diggy just died from one shot. Lolita is still looking for to do something right here. And let's get tall! You can tell! Ooh, he survived. Oh, actually he didn't. Take that word back. I thought he survived, but he didn't. It's fine. Let's go ahead and take our take their blue buff. Yeah. After the mid-tier two tower. Yeah. Love 300 MS. Well, why are you playing on this MA server then if you have 300 MS, right? <laughs> um, I mean, alright. Ruby is 031. He hasn't done anything at all this game. He's just get carried. But this happens every day. Just at least he picked a fighter, right? We got Zaz top lane, Layla top lane the entire day. I mean, at least we got like a normal fighter, which is, you know, I, I can't be more gracious to it. Totally can talk! Okay, you want to jump in here? Look, look, my damage is already online, right? I'm doing quite a bit. Ooh, Ruby, bye, Ruby, zero four one. Unfortunately for you, you did your best. Okay, all right, let's get. It. There we go. Let's get. It. Used a little bit of damage here, but it's gonna be all right. Nothing else gonna happen. Go top lane. Yeah, go top lane, guys. Find a little bit of farm here and there. Get ready for the, you know, uh, red buff coming up. In a few seconds. Gwinder probably want it, so I'm gonna go back to my lane. Go back to my, you know, go back to our own red buff. Fine, I suppose. Yeah, I'll give Granger that red buff, you know, he doesn't have, have to travel. Uh, our blue buff is coming up too. Turtle is here. Let's go ahead and take Turtle. Yeah. See, it's still about farm, right? I already finished my core items, but it's still farm when it's necessary. You know, when there's nothing else to do, farm, right? There we go. I mean, do you see this as nothing, nothing to do moment? Yes, absolutely. All right, almost endless battle. Already finished the most important component of it, which allows him to do a lot of damage. Bruno's gonna get himself killed because he does have red tree, and I'm jumping here. Out of energy, totally can talk. Ah! Get out, just in time. Okay, and uh, come over here to top lane. Go for the tower. Uh, diggy the. The, the egg diggy cannot do anything to us. Uh, we have lifesteal item. Go ahead and lifesteal more than this ruby does. Nice. Ooh, whoa, look at that hook. Ruby with a camo. Is that a camouflage? What, what's going What did I just witness, right? What did I just witness? I mean, GWP, guys. Again, ended in 10 minutes. Very easy. 
You can see that, you know, uh, we in the early game just farm, be annoyance to, uh, to our opponents. But towards the mid to late game, jump in and assassinate. The last team fight was last uh, assassination for the Bruno was a little bit of clutch because um, obviously uh, the, the, we are, we're out of energy, so I have to wait. But it's going to be easy deaths, guys. 908, 1004, absolutely destroy this game. If you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, drop that bell, and leave a comment down below of what, which next hero you want to see in the 100% guide in ML. With that, I said, I'm standing up. See you guys next time. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with you.